Squatter Man, flanked by the two and holding the two, new petroglyphs discovered in Sweden are thought to be around 3,000 years old. Experts say these are depictions of ships, people, and animals. They are blind to the truth. These are depictions of intense plasmatic displays in the ancient sky. The ancient earthlings have tried to leave snapshots. They tried to document a cataclysm that academics refuse to consider today. Their education, their time spent learning, a false narrative was all in vain and they don't have the balls to admit it. Sunspot AR3429 is crackling with M-class solar flares. This interest compressed movie from September 15th shows extreme ultraviolet flashes from four eruptions, all Earth directed. According to spaceweather.com, pulses of radiation from this sunspot are ionizing the top of Earth's atmosphere, creating a rolling series of shortwave radio blackouts over all latitudes of our planet. Ham radio operators, pilots, and mariners may notice occasional loss of signal, especially at frequencies below 20 megahertz. So far, none of the explosions has hurled a coronal mass ejection towards Earth. They've all been too brief to lift a CME out of the sun's atmosphere. However, there is a huge magnetic filament snaking around this sunspot group. If continued flaring destabilizes the filament, it could erupt and hurl significant debris in our direction, creating a significant geomagnetic effect around our planet. Space Force have launched a mission. There was no warning. On Thursday night at 7.28 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time, a Firefly Alpha rocket lifted off from the Vanderburg Space Force Base in California. It carried an unusual satellite named Victus Knox. Latin for Conquer the Night, Victus Knox is a U.S. Space Force experiment testing the ability of Firefly Alpha to launch a military satellite with only 24 hours notice, a so-called responsive launch. Alpha Firefly successfully launched Victus Knox only 27 hours after it received a go notice. The extra three hours were a result of a weather delay. The mini fridge sized satellite will now provide Space Dominion awareness data to the Space Force. What is he holding in his left hand? Any ideas? It's an honorary remembrance of the cosmic mountain. As our pyramids and ancient mounds and ziggurats, the connection of heaven and earth that was broken. Heaven was specifically the assembly of the gods, aka the divine council, aka Asgard. This is why it was said the rainbow bridge connects Midgard to Asgard. And when the bridge trembles, it's a sign of the coming Ragnarok. Then, Apocalypse 5,100 years ago. If we are to believe the Hindus in regards to when Vishnu left the earth. But when we speak of deep significance and intrinsic power, the Norsemen point quietly at Ragnarok, the twilight of the gods. In Norse mythology, the religion of our forefathers, myths of the Eddas, the cover is the master of animals and the bird symbolizes the winged disc, all shattered into ignorant pieces on purpose.